People are skipping the dump and tossing all their trash out along the Bosque. News 13's Annalisa Pardo tells you what park rangers hope will stop the problem. Robert Hendrick walks along the open space in Los Lunas weekly and says seeing trash off the trail is common. It makes me mad. People who come here are more appreciative and respectful of it. The river park, there's a lot of syringes and that kind of stuff there. And then across from Tomei Hill is just chaos. The latest report of illegal dumping in the city's part of the open space came in yesterday. This one was actually reported by an individual. She was riding her horse in the Bosque. Park rangers were dispatched to the area and had to pick up 24 bags of trash. So it's terrible. It kind of makes you wonder why they feel they have to go dump it in especially our open space areas and preserve. Open space supervisor Pat Jaramillo says it happens on a regular basis and that they try their best to figure out who did it. Digging through the trash to find names, numbers, and addresses to send citations. I'd say about 60% of the time we can kind of find out who had done it, at least get them to court. Now, what happens in court's another story. Jaramillo says illegal dumping can cost someone up to a $500 fine or even some jail time. But he's seen some people get away with community service, a punishment he says doesn't match the crime. I think you need to pay. I think really. We should have a set fine, and it should be a high one. What hurts us is when it costs us. I think that's the issue is, you know, the fines probably should be a lot higher. Whether it's a pricier punishment or something else, park users want officials to do more to make it stop. I wish the county could figure out some way to start picking it up because it's not going to go away. It's just going to accumulate and accumulate. Annalise Sapardo, KRQE News 13. Jaramillo says they have a good idea of who is responsible for this latest round of dumping. No word yet on if a citation has been sent.